Hey, what's up guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and we've got another prize picks video for you. We're gonna be talking about uh, the November 22nd slate um, NBA um, on Wednesday. We've got 12 games on board, a lot of great matchups. It's gonna be a nice full slate. Um, but before we get started with that, um, if you've never tried prize picks, you can use our promo code. They'll double your first deposit up to $100. Um, basically, they'll match whatever you first deposit. If you throw in 50, they'll give you 50 extra. If you throw in the full 100, you'll get 200 to play with. Um, so it's a really good deal. Um, and yeah, just use our promo code. They'll, they'll double that for you. And if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell um, because we will be dropping more picks in our Discord and actually starting um, for this slate, we're going to be adding a daily show. Um, so we'll our first look at night like we normally do. And then the following day, um, we're going to be dropping an updated video. So you get two videos from us for each slate. As you've seen before, if you're uh, familiar with our channel, we catch a lot of these really good bargains um, up front and the lines change. Um, we had several lines change from our video last night. And if you got in on those early, you cashed. And um, so we are going to be adding a second show. Uh, during the day uh, with the full board so we can show you what we like uh, once the board fills out as well. All right, um, so before we get into our picks, we're gonna recap our plays from uh, last night's video. And um, we we got a sweep this time, uh, which felt pretty good. Um, I've felt good about like most all of our picks that we've been uh, giving you uh, because it, we run our process of research, you know, and. Um, we always feel good about them, but sometimes unfortunate circumstances happen and, uh, you know, guys get hurt, um, blowouts happen, and uh, sometimes the, we just fall short. And sometimes we just could have made better picks. I'm not, not trying to say we get the best picks every single time. But anyways, um, so uh, last night um, I took uh, Jalen Suggs for over, um, I believe it was 11 and a half points. Um, let me just make sure that that's what the line was set at. Um, yeah, he was at 11 and a half points. Um, I believe he went for, yeah, he went for 16. And then I took uh, Embiid um, for rebounds and assists at 15 and a half. Um, that line ended up jumping all the way up to 16 and a half um, during the, the following day. So, um, but if you took it at 15 and a half, um, you cashed. Um, he went for 18. So even if you took it all the way up at 16 and a half, he ended up cashing. Um, and those are the two picks I had. And uh, let's talk about your picks, Jordy. Yeah, um, I felt really good about these. Like I, I said it last night, and I know we say that a lot, but it's because they look good on paper, right? So it's like they should hit if the guys play what they're averaging. Um, so I had um, Evan Mobley for rebounds at eight and a half last night, and that jumped all the way up to nine today. So um, he had 12, so he hit it both. It was good. Um, really happy about that one. Um, and then I took Jalen Johnson for over 14 and a half points and he was sitting at, um, I think what, 16 and a half by the time the game started or 15 and a half Jalen Johnson. Oh, you mean, um, yeah. Uh, what Johnson. his line moved to? Yeah. I think his was... line moved up to 15 and a half. Yeah. yeah. So he had 17, so he hit it both. So I was happy for all you guys who didn't get to lock it in last night. Um, even if you locked it in today, we still all hit. So it was good. Um, yeah. So yeah, it was a good time. It was, and it is important though, if, if you like, what I like to do is when we, when we do this first look video, we lock in a couple slips at these bargains because I'm not going to lock in too many slips because the board isn't filled out yet, but some of these are not going to be the same in the morning. And, um, we got lucky in the sense that all of these would have hit either way, but, uh, sometimes you don't get so lucky and, you know, a line's at 15 and a half and it feels good. And, you know, the guy goes for 16, but if you take it at 16, you get a push or, you know, if you end up taking it at 16 and a half, you get what I'm trying to say. So we want to hit you with some uh, early looks, and then we're going to hit you with updated picks tomorrow, uh, with our first daily show. So, all right, um, let's get into our picks then. Um, so to get us started. Um, I'm running it back to uh, Tyus Jones points. Um, we played this the other night and uh, he crushed it. And I think he's going to crush it again. Um, if you see what he's been doing, he just had that one uh, uh, outlier game against Brooklyn where he didn't score anything. But I still love this line at 10 and a half. And um, I'll get into the details as of why. Uh, first thing is they're playing Charlotte. And um, this is a, another high over under. We got 242 on the over under and only a four point spread favoring Charlotte. 
And, um, you know, we, we've seen the Wizards, their, their defense is horrendous. Um, but surprisingly, they hang in these games sometimes because they score so much. And so um, I feel good about this game. Um, we're excited to get pieces of it. Um, and uh, we don't really have any risk of blowout because if there's only that four point spread. So um, I'm loving that. And then if we look at what Tyus Jones has been doing um, over his last four games, he's been averaging uh, just under 28 points a game and uh, just under 13 points a game. Although um, in his last game against Milwaukee, um, he uh, ended up dropping 18 and we talked about his floater and uh, all of his mid range uh, game. And he's just, he's really good at it. And um, they're a fast paced team. Uh, he gets a lot of fast break, just these quick little floaters in the paint. I expect him to do the same thing tomorrow. And um, if we look at what uh, Charlotte is allowing against point guards, they're allowing a lot of points to point guards, almost 25 points a game. So we're hitting all the indicators on this one. I'm feeling really good about it. And um, this is why we do our first look show, because we like catching low lines like this that, um, you know, I don't know if this one has as much of a risk to get bumped up, um, but uh, I know some of these picks will have the, the risk there for sure. So we like Tyus for more than 10 and a half points. Um, and my next pick is going to be another points prop. This one will move. Um, we're going to go with Jason Tatum for over 27 and a half points. Um, against Milwaukee. Um, this should be another high scoring game. Um, if we look at the over under on this game, we've got a 235.5 uh, with the Celtics favored by just five points. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, we, again, don't really have much risk of a blowout. Um, and uh, we got a nice high scoring over under. So um, feeling good about that. And uh, again, I think I mentioned it, but he just went for 44 points in his last game. So he's like, uh, he's he's in rhythm right now. Um, and if we look at his last, um, if we look at his last five games here, he's already averaging just under 30. Um, and uh, if we look at what Milwaukee's allowing to um, small forwards, um, they're allowing just over 23 points a game. But when you got someone like Jason Tatum in uh, a game that's going to be close with a high over under, I expect him to uh, just really, you know, put some points on the board. And um, I forgot to mention, but um, on that Tyus Jones uh, points prop, uh, we actually have uh, an over under here of um, where are we at minus uh, 125. So they're they're liking this to go over as well um, in Vegas. And then if uh, we get into um, Jason Tatum. They actually have this juiced all the way up at 140, minus 140. So if you're, you know, doing what we like to do and taking advantage of these early looks, I would lock this Tatum pick in tonight because um, that's going to probably go up to at least 28 and a half. I, I was going to say no, 29 and a half. It could be because knowing prize picks, um, if it's if something's juiced this much, it's going to at least go a full point. Um, if not, you know, I could see that 29 and a half, even maybe just 29 before the game starts. But um, you'd be surprised what this half point difference can make because he could end up ending the night at 28 points, you know, um, 20, 29 points. Um, but uh, we'd like to just get any edge we can on these early looks. So um, so I'm feeling good about Jason Tatum as well. And um, this next play is also, I guarantee you, going to be bumped up. Um, we're going to go to uh, rebounds and assists, and we're going to take Giannis in the same game. So it's set at 15 and a half. Um, he is going to be doing a lot of this tomorrow. Um, he's been on a heater 22 in the uh, two, 22, uh, two games ago, 21 in his last game. And um, if we look at what he, he's averaging, he's averaging um, 11.4 rebounds a game and 6.6 .6 assists a game. So if he just hits his average, we're already crushing that line. And um, this one is also uh, has a high, uh, um, has high odds. It's a minus 130 um, for Giannis to go over this mark. And if we look at what uh, Boston's allowing, um, they're allowing uh, to small forwards uh, 9.6 rebounds and uh, 4.5 assists a game. But we all know that Giannis is not your typical uh, small forward. And um, again, this over under at 235 and a half with uh, only a five point spread. 
I expect a high scoring game, a lot of uh, volume, a lot of like movement. And um, I, I just love that this pick is only at 15 and a half. So I'm feeling really good about this pick. Um, and those are my three, but again, I would lock these in tonight, unless you, you know, don't mind taking a risk tomorrow, but I guarantee you Giannis and Tatum will both be higher tomorrow. So that's the three I'm rolling with for tomorrow. What do you got, Jordy? Yeah, um, dude, loving those. It was funny because um, we were talking about these picks and going over them, and literally, like, we had the same exact picks in mind before we even, like, started doing this thing and yeah. looking at the odds, and then it was like, oh, my God, all the odds are there. So I'm really feeling good about this one. Um, so for my first pick, I'm going to get into um, a rebounds and assist prop, and I'm going to go with Derek White. I love when this goes down to seven and a half because he's right around that mark. And uh, I've taken this a couple times in the Discord and in our videos, and it's hit a couple times, like when I've taken it. So I'm feeling good about this matchup. Um, you know, with point guards, if we look at what Milwaukee has given up to point guards for rebounds and assists, they're giving up 6.7 rebounds and 8.3 assists a game. So that's like 11, and that's way over his line. So it's actually more than that. But, um, you know, I'm loving this. I think this is a like as close as I get is calling anything a lock. I really like this pick, um, but I never go to that word because I think it's just a little cringy in this. <laughs> um, yeah, whole nothing's space. ever a full lock. Yeah, <laughs> but um, this but. is a minus one thirty to go over, so I'm liking it there. Um, he gets thirty one minutes a game. If we look at what he's averaging on the season, um, he's averaging four point five assists and three point six rebounds on the season so that puts him at 8.1 so if he just hits his average he's gonna get this and i think he can milwaukee's giving up way too many assists per game right now so uh i'm liking that pick and then um for my next pick uh, we're taking that for over and then for my next pick i'm gonna get into um uh miles bridges prop here i'm going for over seven and a half rebounds for my miles bridges um if we look at what washington is giving up to uh, small forwards this year. And I know Bridges just came back, but he he's starting out hot already. I mean, he's flying around. He's physical again. So I really like this guy to go over this. Um, it's a minus 125. Some places I'm looking at it are minus 130 for eight and a half. So this could bump up to eight and a half. So I really think you should try to lock this in at seven and a half. Um, so if we look at what Washington is giving up, Rebounds wise, the small forwards, they're giving up the second most like they are in almost every category. They're giving up 9.1 uh, rebounds a game. So plenty of room for him to get this. They take so many bad shots. Jordan Poole just shot 26 bad shots in the last game. So I'm liking this to go over. I think this game is going to be really high scoring, really crazy. Lots of rebounds. So loving this. It's a 242 game line and only a four point spread to Charlotte. So that's good. That's what we're looking for. And he's already, since he's been back, if we take a look, averaging 36 minutes a game. So he's already back in the Love game it. plan. He's already, you know, Mellow's guy. So I'm really liking this already to go over. Um, so we're taking that. And then for my last pick, um, I'm going to go with Shen Goon. I'm going to take, I don't even want to try to attempt his first name because it's probably not even like it's spelt <laughs> or the way yeah. I want to sound it out. But uh, I'm going to take his points for over 20 and a half. He's been on a heater and he looks very confident in his ability to score the ball right now. And uh, if you just look at his last five games, I know the last five games aren't always the telling sign. But in his case, he's been great for the last seven games. Um, he's averaging 24.6 points, nine and a half rebounds and four and a half assists. And he's playing 34 minutes like Houston, you know, like the connection that he has um, with um What's his name? I'm drawing a blank here. The point guard. Uh, Fred Van Fleet? Yeah, Fred Van Fleet. The connection these guys have right now is off the charts. Uh, that's why Fred Van Fleet's assists are always on our radar, because this guy mm -hmm. can score the ball as soon as he gets it to him. So this is a minus 125 to go over. I'm really liking this pick as well. Um, if we look at what Memphis is giving up to centers, um, let's go to points. Where are you at? This. they're giving up 21.8 uh, points so almost 22 points a game so that's just what we're needing and i think uh Goon with you know how on fire he's been lately i think this is a you know a pretty comfortable pick for me so that's my three 
All right, guys, so these are our six and we both literally have these locked in already because I'm actually a little paranoid they're gonna move. <laughs> um, if you're familiar with Skywalker DFS, uh, shout out to uh, him. He's got a, a really cool channel. Um, I love his content, but he um, uh, a lot of times is on the same page as we are. Um, he's kind of seeing the board the same way we are. And um, I was watching his show and um, uh, when he was trying to lock in uh, the Embiid rebounds and assists, that we were also hyped on um, while he was, I think, uh, figuring out his next pick. Um, it updated live, like on his show, and it removed <laughs> the prop. And yeah, he was he was bummed. Um, but I mean, if he still took it, he cashed. But anyways, and I was gonna say too, like uh, something that's really important about uh, playing prize picks is it's really important to watch as much ball as you can um, because if you if you've seen what Shin goon has been doing in the paint, like it's unbelievable. His like he's is crazy right now. Yeah, he is just he's taken such a huge step this year. It's so fun to watch, and I'm I'm loving this uh, twenty and a half points, and I know it's going to move. So yeah. definitely lock these in. And um, you know, as we wrap up, uh, I just want to say like um, you should uh, definitely go check out our Discord. Um, we have a great community over there, and. Um, we, uh, I think we, with our Discord picks today, we drop eight picks in our Discord every day. And uh, I think we went like five of eight. Um, we had, um, we had some, we had uh, just to name a few, um, we threw in uh, actually. I don't Two know. of the misses were in the Pacers game that they sat the players for the entire second half. So. Yeah. Yeah. Keontae, uh, that was unfortunate. Um, they, you know, just uh, ended up sitting sitting them in the second half but um i was gonna try to pull up some of the oh yeah so you had uh you had dennis schroeder um points rebounds over 16 and a half that cashed um kevin durant over five assists he went for seven that cashed we put in uh, d'anthony melton um points rebounds assists 19 and a half that cashed trey young 39 and a half points rebounds assists that cashed um it was, you know, we, it's just a really good community. Um, and, uh, and, um, we just, we, we utilize each other in there yeah. and, um, guys are always dropping picks that Jordy and I are, are like, oh my gosh, like, let me go run the numbers on this. And then, you know, like, uh, and anytime you want to just like hit us up in there, um, we'll do the same type of research that we do, um, here on the show. We do that, um, live in our discord. So definitely go check it out. And, um, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for our first daily show. I would expect it sometime between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern time. And we'll have a fully updated board and we'll be sharing with you what we're getting into with the full board. So good luck tomorrow, guys. And uh, make sure you enjoy yourself on this awesome slate. And we'll catch you in the next video. Good luck, boys.